Hey guys, it's Joel here, aka Galaxy, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have not just one sneaker unboxing today, but I have two sneaker unboxings. Just because I have two pairs of trainers and I wanted to talk about both of them. If you do like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me. The first pair of sneakers that I'm going to show you is from a brand that I spoke about in my last video called Nid de Gap. Um, this was actually one of the pickups I got with them as well, um, but I wanted to save it to talk about it in this sneaker video because it deserves, you know, more of its own video. And a side note, um, this packaging is really nice, whereas the last pair of the shoes I reviewed from them um, I actually got an email from the guys after because I complained about the packaging because it was like just white and was not as premium as like the price point was. Basically me being a little brat really. Yeah, so the guys emailed me and said you actually received a sample box and this isn't the kind of box that they usually send out. So this time they made sure they sent an actual box. It's really nice, that's what I'm gonna say because it's black, it has the logo on the top, your sizing and the illust illustration of the shoe as well. I wanna know what you guys think of these because I love them. They're called the Sand Combat Run. They are based off a US military boot, but like a sneaker hybrid. They are grey suede with reinforced toe box and ankle section. They have like an off-white sole. They are in high, high top, which is one thing that I'm thinking is quite tricky to style because they are so tall, but they also offer this colorway in a low top sneaker as well. If you wanted to check out the Nid to Get page, there's a link in the description below. They fit true to size. They have a big handle bit on the back so you can get them on a bit easier. They give me vibes of like easy season, fear of God, that kind of thing. Um, but Nid to Get really has its own style. They're a French brand and I'm wearing Nid to Get right now, like this bomber jacket. Everything's really sick and on point and they have their own distinct style. These these are 320 euros, which I know is a bit steep for some people, um, but you are really paying for that kind of premium streetwear, higher end kind of brand. Now for the next pair of sneakers, it is something a little bit different for me and I'm bringing a bit of colour into things. As you can tell, I'm wearing all pink because I've had some pink t-shirts for a while but then I got this pink bomber jacket and it's just kind of spiralling. Which brings me to the next piece, which is a pair of sneakers by Filling Pieces, which I have done a review of the Low Ghost Top before, which I will link to in the description. Filling Pieces are an amazing brand, you should check out their Instagram and I posted these on Instagram the other day so you may have seen them, you may have not. They are the Gradient. They're called like low top degrade um, in white and coral. It's basically like a sun bleached coral that fades into a white and the detail is insane. Like there's copper eyelets here at the top which match the coral which then slowly fade into white because I believe I've been told these are hand painted. The lining is all pink suede leather and it even goes onto the sole of the shoe as well. I just think they're so nice. Filling pieces is just like on point and they're around 250 euros I think. More expensive than your Adidas and your Nike but what you're paying for is a really individual kind of shoe. It's definitely worth the investment if you know that you're going to wear it for a long time. Sizing on these is a bit funny so you, I'm usually a UK 9 which is a 43 which the Nidder Gap are true to size, but the filling pieces you have to go down a size, so these are a 42. So yeah, I'm probably going to wear these with all my pink stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this double sneaker unboxing and which pair of sneakers was your favourite, the filling pieces or the Nid to Gap? I will let you discuss that in the comments below and I try and get back to every single comment so if you ever have any questions don't be afraid to ask because I'll just answer it. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye!